In this video, we're going to be talking about time series charts in Google Data Studio. Now, one of the most powerful charts in Google Data Studio, and there's a couple of different options here. So we could just go with a normal time series chart to start, and I'll show you the different options as we go through the video. So this is my Iowa Liquor data set. As usual, I'm showing how many record counts, so how many, what's the volume of sales over a bit of a long period. This is 2014 all the way up to the middle of 2021. So what I can do is I can do a drill down dimension here by clicking on drill down and then I can drill up into the month which has a better graph and I can drill up into the year and that's pretty much automatic. You just click down the drill down and you're good to go and a user can go through through it that way. You could default onto a certain range so in this one I would probably want to default onto year or month. When I click down the drill down and I go into the actual dimension itself of the date I've got a lot more options. So I can click into date and then I can go to date and time and I can change this to the date, the hairy graph we had before, but I can also change it to the year. I can change it to the quarter. And there's a good few more options. I'm not going to go through every one, but what I like is the ISO week. So that gives you a week look at things uh, and that's just all the data aggregated per week. And then if you want to look at things on a pure quarter basis for the whole time period you click quarter down here and that'll just show you the four quarters but it's aggregating all the years up so that's like 2014 to 2021 quarter one and you can also do this for another few um feature another few types of data as well date parts so this is for a month here so a lot of a lot of opportunity to customize this for whatever date you want we're just going to go a year month for the purposes of this video and i'm going to change the time period uh, from 2014 up to 2020 and um, so i just have a two-year period in here and it looks a bit nicer so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna change the aspect of this just to give us a bit of a nicer legend and i'll show you the different charts here so this is the sparkline chart don't know why you'd use that and then this is the kind of smoothed uh, line chart so it looks a bit nicer I'm going to just use a line chart. That's what I normally use. And then down into some of our other customizations in the data sphere, um, we have our metric in here. We can add more metrics. So I'm going to add my profit and I'm going to add my sales in here as well. And the problem with this is these are all on different scales, right? So while the sales and dollars going to be quite high, the profit's going to be quite low and kind of imperceptible. And so is the volume down here. So a nice feature in Data Studio is I can throw these into optional metrics. And what this does, it gives you an option on the graph where you can choose each one. So if I go back over to my graph up into the top of the graph here, I can choose what I want to see. I want to see sales and dollars. I can have profit as well, but I don't have to have profit. So I can just show my sales or I can just show my record count. So it really like it makes it easy to kind of flip around into different metrics. I'm going to kind of keep my profit on for the purpose of the video. The date range here, I would always go with a filter date range because it's hard to kind of keep it consistent in there. And then for the comparison, the loads of options in here for comparison dates. So I'm just going to choose previous period because whatever I choose in my filter, it's going to track that. So I'll choose my previous period here and apply. And you can see that I have my figures for the period I've chosen plus the previous two years as well. I'm just going to change this to a one year period so we could see the 2020 to 2021 comparison. So you see here, like this is a lot more uh, comparable, um, 2020 to 2021. And I get to see my figures for this year and the comparison for the same period last year. Just going to reorientate this because I'm going to bring in another chart to just show you the um, the uh, filtering functionality from the line graph. So I'm going to add a chart. I'm going to add a table as usual. In every video I add a table because they're the most powerful things in Data Studio. i got to add a table in here. Um, we've got category in here, record count. Just going to add in my profit and my sales and dollars. And I'm just going to quickly restyle that by just changing the names and just change the orientation and, and making the numbers a little bit smaller. So that's that fully restyled. And then when I go to my line graph, I can choose any 
part on the line graph and I can filter the table. So super useful if you want to see why something's happening, why something's going up and down, you can just filter on different months and see in the table itself. It's a really powerful thing to get to the bottom of why data is different. So on the styling, you could change the series from a line to a bar. You can have a cumulative line, so that starts at zero and goes all the way up. You can show the points, which is really useful for end users for doing that filtering. You can show the data labels, doesn't look great, but you can compact the numbers. I'm not going to do that here because it just looks a bit messy. You can also show some lines, so a trend line, a linear trend line here. I've just changed the color of that so you can see it. And then what you can also do is you can uh, show reference lines, which are probably a bit more powerful. So what we can do in the reference lines, we can show metrics. And then we can go down and show a percentile. So you can show any percentile you want, what's in the 90th percentile, per se. Or you could just show a median and just look at things that are above or below the median and look at those. So there's a few more styling options here. Um, I'm not going to go through every single one of them. But really, there's a lot of style you can do in the grid. You can change the color of the grid. Um, and you can, I think we've gone through a lot of this before. You can change the background. I'm going to change this to my nice pink. Um, that doesn't look great. And then you can do different options with the legends. Legends above, legends below. All that sort of stuff there. So I hope you found that useful. I think the line graph is a really good um, graph. It should be included in most uh, time series metrics and I'll see you very soon for another data studio tutorial